in the makeup trailer while the artist was cutting my hair was talking about the best like film haircut I've ever seen was the zigzags in Charlie Sheen's hair and she had cut them into his head. Rivals! Rivals! Hi, I'm Alex Hassel and these are my film firsts with BAFTA. The first film I remember seeing, I'm sure it wasn't the first film I did see, but was The Never Ending Story um, in the village hall in Essex. We lived in this little village called Rowhedge and they showed it at the village hall uh, on like a projector. And it wasn't actually the first time I'd seen it, it was the second time I'd seen it. But for some reason, <laughs> because of the amount of people that were there, I found it overwhelmingly emotional when Artax, a tray's horse, drowned in the quicksand and I had to leave the room because I was crying so much. So that's probably why it sort of burnt into my memory. The first film or TV show I was obsessed with was probably Bugsy Malone. I bought a black suit and a fedora from a charity shop and would walk around the village dressed as Bugsy Malone. And in fact, the first part I ever played in Amateur Dramatics was Bugsy Malone and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. So it's hard to say the first film or TV show that made me want to act because actually it was theatre that kind of gave me the spark to act, but the first film that really made me want to understand acting more deeply and sort of really dedicate myself to getting kind of uh, as good at it as possible, I guess, and as sort of deep into it as possible was Jimmy Dean in East of Eden. So I was, I guess, 16. I already wanted to be an actor and everything, but it really changed the way I thought about acting and, and what I wanted to attempt to do with it. Yeah, so the, the thing that initially sparked my desire to act was <laughs> a production of The Rock Nativity written by the people who wrote the theme tune to Neighbours in a small theatre uh, in Chelmsford and Essex. And I went to see it having absolutely no desire to act or thought about acting and got sort of hit by a bolt of lightning by the wrong activity and left the theatre absolutely knowing without question that that was what I was going to do for the rest of my life and, and that yeah and then looked in the local paper for an amateur dramatics company there were auditions for Bugs and Malone auditioned for Bugs and Malone got the part of Bugs and Malone and thought it would be as easy as that from then on and there has not been. When I was again probably eight my older brothers showed me the Amer uh, American World from London, which really, really traumatized me for years. <laughs> like the double dream bit in American World from London when he wakes up and then he thinks he's safe from this dream and then it's actually a double dream. I just found so terrifying. And then my brother Joe, um, then in my dreams, after, for a while afterwards, he was a werewolf in my dreams and like he wasn't allowed to babysit me because I was too scared <laughs> of him. <laughs> uh, so that was, a, that was a mistake. I'm not very good at horror films now. I have to watch them clutching my wife, like holding, like hiding my face. So uh, yeah, it had quite a profound effect on me. Thanks, Ben and Joe. I don't know if I do remember my first ever audition, but one for some reason that sticks with me is that I got a sort of actual film that I got quite close to being in was called The Hole. I mean, it was a, I think maybe Thora Birch was in it and I sort of did some recalls for it and thought, I'm gonna just be a huge movie star. And then I didn't get it and it took me 20 years to get where I am now. <laughs> the first character I was obsessed with was Rick Wild Thing Vaughan from the film Major League. He was played by Charlie Sheen it's a baseball film that I don't know that necessarily that many British people have seen. Um, and he was a character, a baseball player, who got, uh, it's just come out of prison and he gets sort of, um, you know, taken to the big show of the major league and it's this amazing pitcher. And every time he would come out, the audience would sing Wild Thing, which I found incredibly exciting at the age of <laughs> about nine or something, and bought baseball outfits to wear, um, a Cleveland Indians cap, because that was the team he played for. And what I didn't get, which I really wanted, he had zigzags um, shaved into the back of his head and my mum wouldn't let me have those. But I, many years later, was in a film in LA and in the makeup trailer while the um, artist was cutting my hair and styling it into this amazing style, was talking about the best like film haircut I've ever seen was the zigzags in Charlie Sheen's hair. And she had cut them into his head. And I was so excited by the fact that she was cutting my hair that I immediately texted my mum and dad and my, like my family. Uh, and it was like the most starstruck I'd ever been. 
it, the conti for continuity, it, it wouldn't have made sense to have uh, shaved them into black and white, but maybe now. Mm. The first quote or moment of a TV show that really stuck with me was probably Ferris Bueller. Um, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Um, I love that film a great deal. Or maybe, um, maybe something from The Princess Bride. Um, but yeah, I, Ferris Peter, I'll go for. So my, I don't remember the first time I read the whole script for the episodes I was in of The Boys, but I remember getting this audition scenes, which was a, a big speech um, when my character's naked uh, in a cage. And I remember reading it and thinking the writing was really brilliant and that I sort of immediately understood how to do it. Sometimes you get a script and you're like, I don't understand what to do or how to play that. And it takes a long time to sort of work yourself up to it. And sometimes you read something and just go, yep, yeah, I totally instantly know how to do that. Um, and that was one of those. Um, and I got the part like a day later. It was a really quick thing. So obviously um, I'd like that to happen more often, please, if anyone out there is watching. My first reaction to hearing I've been cast in Rivals was to jump up and down in excitement uh, and then go, oh, that's quite intimidating, actually. My first day on set of Rivals was a dinner party scene. There are lots of party scenes. And uh, a bunch of the main cast all had to be sitting around a dinner table. Um, and we had to improvise because the way they needed the dialogue to sort of overlap in the background of other people's shots. So that was a really intimidating day, but a really good day because everyone sort of rate, like tried to out improvise each other. Um, and it was so funny and everyone, we all thought we were so lucky of how good everyone was and how well cast it was that at the end of the day, we were all banging the table, <laughs> chanting rivals, rivals. Um, yeah, that was a good day.